I want you to get in my head. Paper. My thought process. Paper. So everybody grab one of these. Paper. One. Like we did with the mole map, which by the way, I had Kelsey Burrell that came totally confused and showed me what her professor did for mole calculations, and I was like, nope. I got a better with method and showed her the mall map. She's like, that makes a lot more sense. This is not necessarily a map, but a thought process of what I go through. Now, this is probably going to become a jumbled mess at the end. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the top middle. Do I? Okay. <coughs> Hamburger or hot dog? Yeah. Hamburger or hamburger. hot dog? Okay, perfect. Wait, no, hamburger <laughs> or hot dog? Landscape or they Landscape. What's that? Horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. <laughs> 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 oh, horizontal? Oh, no, what about hamburger? You lied, you, hamburger. you lied to me. You lied to me. hamburger is horizontal. Yeah, hot dog. No, 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 we always did, we always did hamburger hot dog for how you fold it. There was oh, a hot dog. I knew that. This, this is, is hamburger. hamburger. This is hamburger. No, that's hot dog. That's, that's hot dog. dog. This, this is hot dog. dog. No, it's hot dog. We never folded ours. We just said this was hamburger. This, this is hot dog. This is landscape. This is hot dog. All right, what this is, this is a gap in generations of how we learn things. He's a year ahead of us. Well, I'll learn better. Hot dog. All right, we're going to want you. Make the paper face like this. Oh my goodness, hot dog. Like that. Like this. Okay? That's hot dog for you young folk. So what we're going to do is, this is kind of like a nomenclature thought process. I'm going to study your thought processes tonight, guys. This is where I go through everything. This is how I'm checking behind what's happening. The first thing I do, the first step, is I always, number one, I will check number of elements. Now from this, we have some options. Okay? So in the middle, I'm going to do if we have three elements. Here's the easy one. <laughs> Four elements. Oh, wow. I want no elements. There's no elements, there's no nomenclature. Are we going to go any further than that? On the four elements, no. Okay, but like leave plenty of room here at three because this is going to feel. Uh oh. This is going to feel like crazy. Don't worry, mine's perfect. How many, how many sections are we having? I got to be honest with you, I don't know. It's like coming from my head. Okay, okay. Sean, you know how much space I need to leave? Someone say leave a lot. Four elements means two polyatomic. Ions present. So all we need to do name polytomics. Okay. That's for four. I'm going to come back and fill three in a second, but I want to go over to the left. When there are two elements. You can put another little section off at the very end here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 
I can barely squeeze it in. You may not need this one, okay? But I just thought I had it in just in case. One element. <coughs> if it's one element present. Name. The element. Slash can I on. Slash can I. Slash diatomic. Diatomic would be two elements. Well, technically, if you just had a nitrogen, then it's in two. So, the two and the three elements is where there's going to be a lot of thought, a lot of work there. Okay? So, first thing I'm going to look at is the two elements. So if I have two elements present, here's where I go. I'm going to go to a thought and a check. This is where everything's going to start bridging off. I'm going to look and determine the bond. What I'm saying, when I'm saying determine the bond, I'm determining ionic, covalent, what is it? Because this is where it bridges. And we're going to meet the fork in the road, everybody. There's a fork in my road. Because let's say that I go over here, uh -oh. and to the left of it, we're going to go fork left, and then we're going to fork right. Uh -oh. Let's say we fork to the left, and we determined that the bond is ionic. <coughs> if I have an ionic bond present, then what I'm going to do is I will have to go to another thought. We're going to have to split the road again. Oh yeah. I'm starting to get a little thinner of the road, Mr. Hall. If I have an ionic bond present, oh wait, 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 change that. Uh oh. No, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's, that's where's Tom gonna crash? If I have an ionic bond present, the first thing I want to look for and ask myself: transition metal. Present. You know from there if a transition metal is present, what must we do? Um, we should use the stock system. Name with stock system. <laughs> That's if the transition's present. Now let's say that the transition's not present. So in this case, it's ionic bond, so we know it's a cation. But uh, no transition, not transition metal. So if there's not a transition metal present, then I name the cation and anion. I start drawing boxes around. Okay. You can do that. <coughs> is there an ionic bond? So now I'm going to come back here to where we first forked at determine the bond. Is this good? 
Okay. I thought you were asking her a question, so I was waiting to see. I thought she said something to me. Oh, well. no, no. If you were asking a question, I wanted to make sure you got your question answered. <laughs> I'm sorry, here. Let's talk now. Covalent bond. This is where it gets fun. Covalent bond. This is where we'll fork the road again. Here comes a fun one. I want everybody to look at me really quick. I promise you, this will be on your quiz. I promise you, it is my trick. Same elements. So it's two of the same elements. That's like nitrogen bonded to nitrogen, oxygen bonded to oxygen. Well, we have. Miss Stable to the office, please. Diatomic. Do not forget, hydrogen is over there with the metals, but hydrogen is a non-metal. Hydrogen is a diatomic. Different elements, no charge. Means, use prefixes. Okay. So that's like what you're used to with the covalent bonds is carbon dioxide, hydrogen monoxide. Dinitrogen pentoxide. We do this all day. <coughs> now comes the fun, fun one. Use it. This is when it is different elements. This was to remember what polyatomic ions are. Covalently bonded molecules that have ionic characteristics. That's why they have the charge. So different elements with overall charge, polyatomic. This is the difference between CO3 and CO3 two minus. 
CO3, carbon trioxide, CO3 2 minus is carbon made. At that point, a little good little note, oxy anion. from the coma bottle. Okay, <clears throat> this is everybody's favorite. If first element is hydrogen. First element's hydrogen. I was wondering, this is working out really too neat to be my brain. I was like, hmm, this ain't work. Questions for covalent bond. I know that's a lot. That's a lot. If I could highlight it for this, it'd make it so Did you forget <coughs> the I ain't got it all. All right, I have no more questions. Yeah, I'm going to go to the three holes now. Here's, here's what I'm saying with this. This is why I'm trying to break this down. That hopefully this will help you. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. I checked the number of elements. So I come down. I have two elements. I look at the elements. I determine the bond. For no determining the bond, I have an ionic or covalent bond. If I have an ionic bond, first metal, first thing I have is a transition metal. I named with the stock system. Ionic bond, non-transition metal, named the cation the anion. Well, let's say I have a covalent bond. If it's a covalent bond and it's if they're the same elements, then it's a diatomic and I just named by the element name. If I go over here and the first element is hydrogen, then it's a binary acid. I use binary acid rules. Let's say different elements with no charge, I'm going to use the prefixes. But then I look over here, it's different elements with an overall charge. That's a polyatomic ion, and I'm probably going to try using the oxy anion rules. Will every time it's a polyatomic ion, will I use the oxy anion rules? No. Some of them you just have to have the memory. Like oxalate. Oxalate? Sounds like an animal. Oxalate. Alright, so three elements. When there's three elements, there's a golden rule. Uh -oh. Poly, atomic, acid, ion, ion, present. Sorry. Are we adding anything else to number four? No. Okay, I can move three over. The key to three elements is finding the polyatomic ion. That's the ultimate thing you have to do first. So we're going to find the polyatomic ion. Then from there, you'll know this was coming. We forked the road. Hey. Okay. My forked roads are getting a little thin, Mr. Hall. Yeah, I don't know how much more we can fork them. Hey, 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 this is my head, okay, it's my brain. We'll be forking off roads all day, okay? You're about to I'm an educator. All I do is stand up here and I start doing one thing and I fork somewhere else and I fork here. If we're not careful, we might crash into the highway. I diagnosed ADHD. Listen, I'll tell you what I got. I got ADOS. Attention deficit. Oh, that's shiny. 
that too. <laughs> All right, so let's say we look at three elements, polyatomic ions present. We find the polyatomic ion. You have to find the polyatomic ion first. I feel like it's something hard just to have you in there. So the polyatomic ion, once we find it, then things will change. So, first case. I do this. First element. Shiny. I see what's happening here. <laughs> face to face with greatness. It's all my first time. Show me what's going on. It's adorable. Well, it's nice to see that humans never change. <laughs> Open your eyes. Let's begin. Yes, it's really me. It's Maui. Breathe it in. I know it's a lot. The hair, the bod. <laughs> When you stare at a demigod, what can I say except you're welcome? You guys won't believe it. Tell me you don't remember the most song. important part. You know that start of the song, but then you don't know the rest of the song. I know the rest. I know. I have to say, if I skip that part, I think I could remember it. Oh man! <laughs> I thought we was about to have like the most epic moment ever. <laughs> <laughs> We started with Oh Shiny and then we went into um, <laughs> I don't, I don't like how there's a yeah, one up there. The Does that mean we're going to add more to this paper? Okay. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Hang on. No, sorry. That scared me. Wait, what? I was saying, I started to number it and be like, this is the first thing you do, this is the second thing you do, this is the third thing you do. And then I kind of thought, I'm like, that's not how my brain works. I apologize. Alright, so first element is. What's the message? What is the thing that we know? Message that way when he's on his break away. And that's the thing that we know. It's a matter of victories I win. Rapid, I make everything happen. Look at the thing that you know. Da 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 Sorry, Mason. I'm so sad. Oxy acid. Oxy acid. Like oxy Use oxy acid and uh, nomenclature rules. If I can just remember the polyatomic ions, I think I can do this. Yeah, I'm locked in. But, yeah! But those, that's harder than it looks, Mr. Hall. Nah, no, dog, it's easy. You've been doing this for a while. <laughs> What's that supposed to make that? <laughs> I said a oh, wow. really I specifically oh, said wow. wow. To not wow. be the wow. disrespect. To not call you a, a while can mean anywhere Dear from like a few God. months to a few years. Okay, I, I said nothing. You've been doing this a while. A while. <laughs> you stressed a while. <laughs> I didn't mean anything like that. Oh, you mean everything. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean that. Ridiculous. It's a simple Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know what's going to happen here. Oh, man. I don't. Oh, I don't. I have no idea, actually. I am actually completely lost, but I understand Check all of it. Check charge. Four. Check the metal. I knew it. Bonded. <laughs> That was the worst well, one I've ever heard. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. Just, just in this case, for this test, will it only be metals or oxygen, oxygen, hydrogen, bonded with the polyatomic ion? Yeah, typically that's what you're going to say, because the metals are going to bond because they're dry. Yeah. Is there anything this other than, like, naming the, like, nomenclature on the quiz? Like, will we have to, the first I don't one. know. <laughs> Write a sentence out on why nomenclature is important to the Look at me. humanities. Look at me. All I'm giving you is nomenclature. Okay. You know what your practice sheets look like? Yeah, that's what. That's it. literally what the quiz is. About. Okay. You should give us a quiz on your brain. We should have to memorize this. this Please. Be... I don't even think I could pass a quiz on my brain. <laughs> check the metal bond. Now, you know what's going to happen once you check the metal bond. Hey, metal bond it. There we go. Put the ED at the end. Oh, I guess your favorite, favorite animal. I don't know we checked the metal bonded. We forked the road. Donkey. So excited. Did you just call him a donkey? No, I, it's your favorite animal. Alright, well, we forked the road. After we checked the metal, 
bonded. One of two options are going to happen here. Option one, transition metal. If it's a transition metal, you know what we got to do. You know what? Stock system. That's it. I hate the stupid stock system. <laughs> I despise that thing. I've What's the stock system? Bad. Okay, we can trash the stock system and we can go to no. the Latin roots. Uh -huh. Anybody know what ferric? Ferric? Um, ferric? That's clearly arsenic. Isn't it arsenic? Like no, it's, it's oh, the charge. It's a charge. domesticated it's a plus two. Ferris? Okay, I just, I, I don't like... Wait, wait, ferric is plus three. Ferris is plus two. I don't like any of them. Oh, I don't okay. like charge. I think we should get rid of it. We don't need another charge. Get rid of elements. So if it's transition metal, <laughs> I'm done. Use stock system. Then we have not transition metal. <laughs> Mason, are you becoming like a supervillain? I'm like trying to like pretend I'm doing evil last for Mr. Hallway and writes more stuff about his brand. Everybody else in here thought I was becoming evil. <laughs> I still think so. <laughs> You can't convince me otherwise. You have ulterior motives. I need to see Mr. Paul Ewell. You make it hard to trust you. Really, my, like, my end game here is so that you all will go off, somebody will win a Nobel Prize, and then they'll give a speech and say, my high school chemistry teacher, Mr. Mr. Hall, inspired me, and I'm donating half my earnings Whoa. to Mr. Hall. Oh, wow. <laughs> which I'll be like, so babe, we're going to get out of debt. <laughs> Woo! Ain't I going to get a Toyota Tacoma? Uh, yeah! If I ever win a Nobel Prize, my speech will be... I'll split the half the Nobel Prize. Kevin Hall, 11th grade chemistry, you get me trust issues. Thank you. <laughs> Tommy, to never trust nobody. All right, we're going to name the cat ion and polyton Kyle. That seems to be what we do every time it's not a metal. I think I'm picking up a pattern, Mr. Hall. And, and uh, name it for the there we go, man. Oh, um, okay. Is this what your brain looks like? <laughs> it's a little neater. I'm in psychology, and this is what's on the board's neater. I think normal. this is a, the, the sign of serial killer. We should, I should you know what y'all should do? You should like. Tell Miss Goodman, you know how she does the celebrity brain? Yeah, I know. I Forget celebrity, we're going to do teacher brain. Oh, I still have it on my you board. Your job is you get assigned a teacher from the school and you have to do one of their brains. Oh! I think it would be hilarious. Do your mother's apostrophe brain. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, hey. Don't, don't cancel my video. <laughs> there is no connotation to that. All right, here's what I'm saying. The gutter. Let me finish. So, like, now. this is this is what I'm saying. This is what I do every time. What, what, what this problem? is is a systematic breakdown of how I look at this. So let's say I look at this. I have K N O three. First thing I do, I count the number of elements present. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. I have three elements present. There's a polyatomic ion present, finally. So the first thing I do is find the polyatomic ion. That's nitrogen and oxygen. Found it. I know the polyatomic ion based off nitrogen and oxygen. The root of it's nitrate. Nitrate is NO3 minus. Well, that is NO3, so I found nitrate. I got a spot. So I found the polyatomic ion present. Now we fork the road. First element is hydrogen. My first element is not hydrogen. We ain't taking that path. Second fork, we check the metal bonded. Okay, here's the metal. Killed it. It's potassium. Transition metal. Potassium's in column <coughs> one to alkali metal. It's not a transition metal. Not transition metal. That's where I need to go. I need to name the cation and name the polyatomic ion. Potassium nitrate.
Wow. Mr. Roll, I can't explain to you wow. how much more sense this makes to me. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, this is really serious. Yeah. Like, was this a good idea? Yes. yes. <laughs> Why'd you take so long to do this? Mr. Roll. Please. The mole map was the only reason I I'm going to ask the first. We're okay. using some terms in this room today that Mr. Hall's not cool with. Why'd you take so long <laughs> to do this? You've been a while. doing this a while. <laughs> it's been ages, Mr. Hall. <laughs> You guys are like, you're interested in some things on the Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> My voice is still shot from doing kids on Sunday. Okay, so here's the thing, okay? Here's what I want you to do. Listen. Study. Okay? Listen to me. I promise you, you're going to do it. I think, I think I'm going to square it away to 30. <laughs> 15, I don't know what he did on that. 15, I want to give you the chemical formula I want the name. Another 15, I give you the name I want the chemical formula. How many points does each one work? Two points. Quiz is worth 60. Okay? I will say this. I actually have a lot of hope in y'all, because while we were going through things, I was trying to trick you all. And about halfway through this whole thing, you kept catching tricks. Yeah. Study. This is something you're going to have to go home and study. Best thing to do is just rework problems from the notes. Don't try and memorize, per se, like KNO3 is potassium nitrate. Don't try to memorize that. Memorize the system. You have the Mr. Hall brain thought process. But I hate you. Except for that over there at the binary. Is that an elephant? <laughs>